you hear that that's the sound of the wind 3700 meters above sea level at the summit of a volcano with a crater lake on top so in this vlog i'm going to talk about how much i spent i'll show you some pretty cool views i'll give you um, some hiking tips and i'll also give you some bloopers and some behind the scene content towards the end um, and here uh, i was in the uh, very early in the morning uh, while we were heading to the uh, rdb rwanda development board office where we have our briefing before we start the hike um, this is my second time doing this um, hike i tried a month ago i was not able to get to the peak but because i'm currently doing the five peaks in five months challenge i'll later on um talk about why i came back and uh, you know determined to make it to the top and um this is the way in kinigi um to the rdb office can you see that that's majestic sabino uh, that's um seeing from my car window and it's uh, i'm going to be hiking it very soon but now let's first start with how much this trip cost me so money this whole hike cost me around 65,000 rwandan francs it's roughly 50 dollars and this includes 40,000 that I paid to the company that organized everything from uh, park entry fees to group porters and transport uh, from and uh, back to Kigali and um, some snacks and food. But in addition, on top of that, I also added some personal um, porter services and additional snacks. Um, oh, I also had a massage because I was so dead after the hike. Um, but yeah, I'm not counting the massage in the 65,000. If there is interest in a breakdown of the budget, how much I spent on each item, I'm happy to do that for the next hike. Just let me know in the comment section. This hike was for the books from the team to the views to the food. Everything was really amazing. The views were literally stunning. I'll do less talking and allow you to really get an idea of how it was. <laughs> I am finally back and I'm attempting to hike uh it's okay once again and um yeah this is going to be a tough one but this time i'm really confident like you know a hundred percent i'm going to make it to the top i am with one with some of the most like incredible women hikers so it's going to be a fun experience it's going to be a fulfilling experience but i am actually afraid it's going to rain do you guys think it's going to rain like looking at the sky but i guess if it rains it's going to add to the experience um but yeah Wish me luck. I am also talking less uh, to really try and not use up uh, the energy that I have because uh, it's going to be a long hike. So on my last hike, I failed miserably. And one of the reasons is because I'm always talking and I would, uh, you know, use up energy because I was breathing through my... Um, my mouth, but look at that stunning view. So this one is my second attempt to hike this okay a month ago i was here i couldn't make it to the top but today we are making it to the summit and this is uh, the first volcano in my five peaks in five months challenge that i'm doing to raise money for agati library <laughs> Stay tuned. Okay.
Yeah. At this point, it was becoming a little foggy. The weather started behaving bipolar and you know, it would be sunny and then it would be foggy, but I could hear the voices of the people who were actually already at the summit. So I knew that I was very, very close. Um, so yeah, I decided, uh, let me sit down for a few minutes, you know, get some, you know, a few pictures, you know, the content gotta be created and uh, then i'll keep going because i could even see the clouds because at the summit you can see the clouds they are pretty close tough time never lasts tough people do Okay, I'm not gonna lie at this point. I was also wondering who made me do this. I was wondering why I'm here in the bush while I could be in the comfort of my warm bed. But you know, it's all worth it. It's a good addiction to have. And um, a few of the other hikers started catching up um, because I was trying to, you know, be among the fast hikers. But you know, my heart said, if you don't stop, I will. So I decided to stop and, you know, a few other hikers, as you can see, were um, catching up um, and we made it to the top together.
nothing brings me the most joy like being outdoors but i have to be honest nothing compares to actually being able to to make it to this peak i tried a month ago i was not able to hit this peak but now i made it i it's the healthiest dopamine anybody can ever get but i can't make this up like look at this place <laughs> this view and what brings me even more joy is that um through this challenge the five peaks in five months challenge that i'm currently doing it's going to help create a bigger community for agati library and help us build towards sustainability so i'm super excited i just feel like i, I don't want to go down i just want to like maybe camp here <laughs> On this hike our team was extremely extremely lucky because um it almost rained it didn't well if it had if it had rained it would have added to the experience but i would have made things you know a bit muddier a bit messier we were able to you know see the glorious majestic crater lake in all its splendor without a lot of clouds sometimes we had a bit of clouds but because we stayed uh, at the top for about an hour we you know we 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 lay down we had our snacks and we took pictures we created content and we still had more time um that's one of the advantages to actually um try and um go with the first team because you have more time to enjoy the view at the top before you start the descent um and because this this one is very this is a very steep volcano and it's quite hardcore um by 1 p.m they tell everybody to go down whether you made it to the top or not you have to go down otherwise you would risk um you know being inside the volcano it's a rainforest at night there are no lights so yeah that, that's why it was important so i was just here stepping into this uh, small river or stream to try and get uh, the mud off of my shoes a bit <laughs> I just loved the resolution how you know with all this natural light and the sunlight i was really able to capture some nice unedited um uh, videos that uh, you know look really nice on camera like look at that resolution um but uh i also you know my pot i don't know but he told me that I actually you know broke a record on on descending we uh when going up we used about three hours and a half but going down i used one hour and 12 minutes um so i really have a big challenge going up i don't do well with altitude but uh you know descending was quite easy and uh here is uh, where we met our porters and here is the place where we bid fair not farewell uh, we say goodbye to them and uh, we walk um, by ourselves back to the car but at this time i was so tired and so hungry i just needed something to put in my stomach that that's not snacks so i went here to try and find something
three. So come. One, One two, two, three. Give it a. Give it a sound, please. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go Yeah. 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 Yeah.